Welcome back, MAJ Customs fam. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. If you are new here, I'm Amanda. If not, welcome back. Today, you guys, I will be showing you all how I made these custom graduation buttons. So cute, right? And you can create anything you would like, pretty much anything, and create a button out of it. So it doesn't necessarily have to be a graduation button, but you can make any cute images and turn them into a button. Okay, so without further ado, y'all, let's talk about the machine. So the machine came in this small box. They came in this big box, okay? So with this, uh, it's called the DC Badge slash Button Maker. Okay, so within the small box, it is going to have the machine, which looks like this. I'll explain this to you in a minute. All right, it's a hundred piece all together. So it looks like this. And it, yeah, it looks a bit confusing at first until you start, you know, using it and then you uh, get better as you go. Okay, so it's gonna come with a hundred of these. They're like little pieces of paper. They're just circle papers. Um, when I researched this, it didn't really say what this is for, but I'm assuming like say if you have an image that's smaller than the actual button size, then you can use this as a backing, okay, inside of there. I'm assuming because again, I didn't find anything on how to use the paper. Okay, it comes with the, these are like adjustable. This is Allen wrenches that if you have to adjust your machine right there, you are more than welcome to do so. When I got my machine, I did not have to adjust it. It was fine and ready to go. Okay, comes with a hundred of the film pieces that go over the top of your button. All right, oh, and it comes with this cutter. So how you would use this is you would place this cutter over your image and be careful because it has a sharp little, a sharp little blade under there, if y'all could see that. It did have a covering, but when I uh, opened up mine, I lost it when I was looking at it and I haven't found it yet. Um, So it goes like this and you are to put the circle part over your image. So it'll be like this, right? And you'll be flat. So you're gonna hold it down like this, the top part, and then you move the handle, okay? And cut your image out. I tried using this, it did not work for me, you guys, but it may work for you. Um. Again, you can you can use this if it doesn't work for you. If you have a cutter like a Cricut or a Silhouette, I mean a, a Cricut or a Cameo 4, you can do the uh, print and cut with your Cameo 4 and have your images cut out that way. Or you can just use scissors. I, I do scissors when my machine doesn't want to act right. Oh, I got some black stuff on my shirt. I don't even know where it came from. Okay, anywho. It comes with a cute little book, you guys. It's got blank sheets in here, okay? But it also gives you like images that you can practice using that cutter that came with it right here. So as you can see, there's pictures with cir you know, circles around it. So you can use your cutter and you can practice. You can cut this out and you can practice making the button with you know this image before you actually use um, the image that you want, okay? And then it comes with the 100 piece backing. This is the backing right here, as well as the 100 piece metal top, okay? All right, you guys, so this is everything that came in with this um, machine. So down here it has different colors. Um, I don't know if you guys can see that. Let me move this box, but on here, it's telling you, you can pick whatever, red, blue, green, black. But when I went to look for this, you guys, it was only in green, okay? All right, and I got it off of Amazon, so without further ado, let's get right into the video so I can show you guys how you can start making your own custom buttons. Okay, everyone, so first things first, you're going to wanna grab one backing, one metal top, whatever image you will be using, as well as a clear film. Now for the size, you guys, I played around with this. I made some images that were 2.6 by 2.6. That would be height and width, and they were a tad bit smaller, so I upped my size to a 2.7 by 2.7, okay? 
All right, you guys, let's move on to making our custom button. Okay, so right here on the machine, of course you have this side right here that is just has a cut out like circle slot, okay? And over here you have the other side that has like a, it's like a ring um, type of plastic that goes inside, like kind of like a washer, if you guys um, ever had to put a gadget together that has like a washer inside, okay? That goes inside there. Okay, so for our first side here, with just the cutout ring, you're going to lay the top part down. Now, keep in mind, pay attention to these right here, um, plastic parts, because you wanna make sure that your image, once you lay your top down, we're gonna lay our image, you wanna make sure that the image is straight with this, okay? And I'll show you why. So then we play, I mean, we place our plastic film down, all right, straighten my image back out. And then when we go to turn it, this is where our backing is gonna go. So you want our backing to face this way, okay? With the pin side facing down, okay? And you slide it in there and pay attention to this marking that your pin is facing straight with that, okay? So when we go to press these together, our image and our pin are uh, facing the right way and you don't have your pin facing down, as your image is facing up. Okay, so now that we have our image in place, let me straighten this out a bit because my image did move. All right, put my plastic on there, my clear plastic. I want it to be centered, you guys. I know it's probably gonna keep moving. I could have probably went up a little bit. Um, let me see. This one, I think this is the right one. Hold on, give me one second. Let me see which one is which. Oh, okay, this is the more bigger one. Okay, you guys, so this was the 2.6, I'm sorry. And this is the 2.7, which you can see fits a lot better in there, as you can see. Okay, let me pull it out this way. So you guys can see that my image fits a lot better. So this is the 2.7 by 2.7. Okay, now I'm going to place my plastic over the image. We're good with that. And now we are going to swing the image under the maker part. Okay, let me turn this around so you guys can see. Now we're gonna push this handle down till you hear a click. So that means you gotta put some force into this. All right, did you guys hear that? It was like a big old. Okay, so now it's like a big old boop. <laughs> so now our image is gone, okay? You see our image is gone from over here because it's up here, it's up in here. All right, so now our pin is facing the correct way. So now we're just gonna turn it where the image is. And this part, you guys, you're not gonna hear a click or anything. You're just gonna have to kind of push down. I squeeze it a couple times. So I'm making sure that it locks in place, okay? With my top and my back, swing it on out and look what you have. A nice custom image. I mean, sorry, a nice custom badge slash button, you guys. Is that not neat? And you can do this for any occasion. You can put any cute images on here for kids, little ones. You can make teacher badges, kid badges, any type of badges you guys would like, okay? So this was pretty awesome. I figured I'd come along with you all and show you guys how I did these. Now that you know how I made these, you guys are on to making your own custom made badges and you guys i picked this one up from amazon and it only costed 40 i believe it was 47.99 uh they do go a bit expensive um i didn't want to go expensive because i wasn't really sure where i was gonna go with these badges uh but i i ended up liking it so the cheaper one ain't it's not too bad uh, remember to go by the reviews though because different places sell the exact same machine but some may work better than others so I would still suggest to go by the reviews and if you want I know Cricut has one I think Vivor has a button machine if you guys want to go a bit more expensive to be on the safe side again I only paid no more than $50 for this one and it's doing its job so 
for me, this one is okay for now. If it breaks sometime in the future, then I may upgrade to a more expensive one. So I hope you guys like this video. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell, and I will see you all in the next video. Stay blessed. Bye.